835 with Rebel Wilson. You know her and you love her from her roles in movies like Bridesmaids and Pitch Perfect. And now she's opening up about her unconventional journey to success and loving herself in a deeply personal memoir. It's called Rebel Rising. Rebel, good morning to you. How are you? Oh, good morning, Hoda. I'm good. But it is like, I mean, it is a very deeply personal memoir. So I'm feeling like a mix of like anxiety because to be so vulnerable and to put it all out there, um, yeah, it does take a bit of courage to do that. I would say, I mean, you're saying some things for the very first time in your life. You're talking about yourself personally, that your health struggles that you've had sexually, all these different things are coming out now. So what is it like on this day? Because people are going to be holding these book, this book and reading basically your kind of inner journey. Yeah, and yeah, it's out tomorrow. But before mm -hmm. that, over um, the last two years in between shooting movies, it was just me in a room just writing like my yeah. most private thoughts and things like losing my virginity or uh, sexuality and uh, my complicated relationship with food. And it's it was just like my own thing. And then now I guess it's just releasing it out into the world, which I guess is kind of cathartic in a way because a way. it's just like, okay, here it all, here it all is. Well, they say the truth will set you free like you say your truth. Um, let's just start with what's grabbing headlines so we can put that. Okay, to, yeah, the to book's getting a few headlines. It's getting a lot of headlines. Um, there's a there's a chapter in your book about Sasha Baron Cohen, someone who you really looked up to and kind of worshipped as a comedian. And you say about your work relationship with him that it was the worst professional experience. And you write, I couldn't help but feeling like I was humiliated. And there's a lot of details in the book that people have to read about that time. As you sit here today, are you glad that you included that? Yeah, I mean, that was something that happened 10 years ago, and obviously mm. I've moved past it now, but it was my worst professional experience. And just feeling, like, humiliated and degraded as a person, I just... Um, I thought it's worth sharing in the book because there's probably a lot of people out there that have had the same experiences. And, in fact, since all the headlines have been happening, I've had a lot of women reach out and say that they've had similar experiences with this guy. So at least to help some people feel not alone um, and to know that you can go through something like that at work and then come out the other side a, a stronger person. Now, Sasha Baron Cohen uh, had a reaction to this. He says these demonstrably false claims are directly contradicted by extensive detailed evidence. He says he's one of eight people who worked on the movie who've come forward supporting a statement with documentation of call sheets and scripts that deny the claims. What's your reaction to his reaction? Uh, obviously, knowing his character, I assumed he would react in this way. Mm -hmm. um, writing a memoir, the book gets fully legally vetted. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, there are tons of people uh, to yeah. back what I'm saying in the book. The book mm -hmm. is 100% honest and truthful. So, I guess um, he also put out a video that was highly misleading, mm -hmm. um, which was related to one of the incidents I talk about in the mm -hmm. book. But... You know, didn't release the 20 minutes of footage before that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, you know. All right, let's put that aside because we've got a lot of the book to get to. Yeah. Okay. That is just one chapter. That's one chapter. Uh, yeah, People there... love you from the movies. They've loved you in Bridesmaid, Pitch Perfect, all those kinds of movies. And you say that throughout some of that time, you were feeling unlovable. And that's striking for someone who had fame and kind of all of the things and money, all the things that many want. Well, I feel like like two things can be true inside you at the same time yeah. like one I'm so confident in a lot of my skills and abilities yeah. uh, but then at the other side of the coin I did feel I uh, had a lot of self-worth issues and yeah. felt unlovable um, and I know sometimes when you see someone being successful in tv shows and movies that you think oh you know they must feel great about themselves but a lot of the time I didn't and and I talk about the reasons why in the book. I thought it was one of the things that struck me that was interesting was you, there was a clause in, I think, one of your, in your Pitch Perfect movie that said, for a year after shooting, you were not allowed to change your appearance, which meant you couldn't change your weight. Yeah, but that's really standard in pretty much all right. acting contracts. You can't drastically change your appearance. Well, that also keeps you in a box. That means because yeah. if you... And you had your year of health. Now I want you wanted to change everything. Mm -hmm. So you stepped out and kind of changed... Everything. Yeah, so, against most people's advice, I yeah. decided to just, okay, listen to myself and get healthy in 2020. Yeah. And the pandemic helped because when everything shut down, I didn't have to work so hard 
Um, How were really you able to lose the weight else. and do all the things? Because you, you look fantastic. You have a beautiful baby. Oh, thanks. I've let yeah. myself go a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> now being in a serious relationship and having a baby. But in 2020, and I go through it in the book, I yeah. called it the year of health. Um, and I did a lot of emotional work. Mm. Um, I... I did work out like a maniac. Mm -hmm. uh, and two hours a day some, um, yes, sometimes. Yes, about two and a half hours a wow. day, uh, pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. And I was I was really focused uh, on it in, in 2020. Well, now you're engaged uh, to, and you'll be married to your lovely wife soon. You, yeah. you guys have a baby, uh, 19, 17 month 17 old. 17 months. 17 yeah. month old. How would you say you're, you are in this moment right now? I mean, I guess... I came from being somebody who, yeah, who didn't think I was lovable um, and didn't think that I could be capable of having really intimate relationships. And then now to have a gorgeous fiancé um, and then the baby that just is a whole other world of love that's opened up in my heart. I mean, she just melts me so much. And uh, so I think it's... It's, it's a happy ending. I mean, the book goes through a lot of struggles I've been through in my life, but it shows you that you can overcome so many things well, and just have a brilliant life. People have loved you over the years. They can relate to you. They feel you. They understand what you've been through. And this is a beautiful, this is, this is beautiful because it talks about the source of your eating issues, where you are today and the long runway that's ahead. I hope this isn't your last memoir. You said this well, is a one and only, but I don't know. come on. You <laughs> There's never There's so know. much in here. I feel like I should go a bit quiet <laughs> after this because this really is all my deep, intimate thoughts. Well, um, um, so enjoy, everybody. We, re I, we really appreciate it. And this is a really uh, brave book. Thank you, Rebel. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for coming you. on. And you'll come back on the fourth hour and hang yes, out with me and Jenna. Yes, I'm well, hanging around. Okay, good. We like that. Uh, the memoir, of course, is called Rebel Rising. It's out tomorrow. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.